are at Rocket Town, and we are with Travis from We the Kings. Hello, Rocket Town. So, what exactly makes you guys the Kings? Um, I don't know. We all came from King Middle School as kids, so like, uh, I guess the fact that we all went to the same middle school called King Middle School makes the Kings. Um, King Middle School. And what keeps life fun for you guys on the road? Uh, non-stop bickering and complaining about where we're going to eat. Like every, each one of us has like a different fast food or like gas station type deal that they like to eat. So like I'm the Taco Bell kid, our drummer's the McDonald's kid, um, our guitarist is the Chick-fil-A, which I, I love Chick-fil-A too. But, and our bassist is a total Wendy's kid, so it's like we all have to like, fight to learn again. You, you actually fight over it, or do you have a system where you actually rotate who gets to pick each day? No, we just fight over it. It's like usually whoever's sleeping in the back, like we'll wake up, and whoever was driving, we'll show up at that fast food place and be like, um, What makes Taco Bell your place of choice? Um, I can't get away from the awesome. but, but the thing about Taco Bell, it's all the same stuff. Just uh, with different names. It's like they have like five ingredients. It's like sour cream, lettuce, cheese, beef, and tortilla. In high school, what second language did you take? Was it Spanish? Yeah. Si. And does that help you interpret the menu at Taco Bell? Uh, yes, because you know, as everybody knows, Taco Bell is extremely Spanish uh, coordinated. So, um, Yo quiero Taco Bell or Yo quiero Gordita um, is very easy for me, at least because I did Spanish one and two. I made it to two. So if there was any job in the world that you would like to have other than doing music, what do you think that one job would be? I think I would work at Rocket Town as a escape professional. Okay. We can sign you. Yeah, and I would, I would teach everybody the uh, terrible tricks. Actually, we, uh, we get to skate here tonight after the, the park closes at midnight, so everybody's out. But they let all of us amateurs in to, uh, to break our necks and legs and stuff. It's going to be awesome. Um, maybe you'll catch some footage of that uh, from like midnight to 1 a.m. So we'll all be like sleepy and tired from the show, which should like, we, we might land one trick. If we land one trick, I hope it's on tape. What's the one trick you want to land? Um, I want to do a backflip. Backflip? No, I want to film I, that. For, <laughs> for me, for me, uh, I, I've landed, when I, when I was a kid, I've landed uh, two triple kick flips in my entire life. And uh, I, w I would love to be able to do it. I can never do it now, but. but How about I just a kick land, flip tonight? Could you do that? Ju ju yeah, I can do that. This is a really, really serious question, and this may come into play with skateboarding tonight, being the dangerous nature of it. If, if you were to break your foot and you had the choice of either crutches or a wheelchair, which would you pick? I would definitely do a wheelchair, and then I would join the derby of wheelchair, like, uh, ultimate, like, fighter stuff. You know, like, you sometimes see it on TV. Murder ball. Murder ball, yeah. So kind of like roller derby, but in wheelchairs. Yes, but I think I would even take it to, like, a whole new level and, and chop off my legs so that, like, I was, like, the most hardcore, like, uh, murder ball. Murder baller. Out there. That works. Any injuries you had as a kid that were completely, like, will go down in the history of Travis's life is the worst injury you ever remember having? Um, I've never broken a bone my entire life, but when I was, uh, I think it was five or six, I still had like all my child teeth in, or my like, kid teeth, and um, I was riding on the front of a uh, shopping cart with my mom, and it, like, I was really like, uh, I don't know, incoherent, and I went to reach for like the Skittle, like you know how they had the things, like, in the, I went to reach for it, I lost my total balance and knocked my full front teeth out, and, uh, and I had to go to school like the next day. I, I got made fun of, and uh, it was awesome. So, but, but that was my harshest uh, memory as a, as a child. Thank you for bringing it up. That sounds pretty rough. Now, yeah. did, did the Tooth Fairy deliver? Did she yeah, give she, you money for those she guys? She hit me up with like $4. Or Why is it always a she? Because I think it's creepy if a guy comes in your room and like slips money under your pillow. Oh, but yeah. it's not if it's a woman. No, if it's a woman and you're a dude, it's like, it's at five years old, you're like scoring with a chick for the first time. It's the tooth fairy. <laughs> it's like That'll crazy. work. <laughs> now, first time in Nashville. Yes. What are your expectations for the crowd? I have no idea. What I mean, do you think of when you think of Nashville? Uh, I, you know, I'll go with the typical answer. I think country music. Um, but I also think of like really good, like, uh, my brother lives here. He moved here like a year and a half ago. And he said there's this like, this, like strip 
it's each club you can go in and find like different music and there's just music everywhere. So it's not like only country, it's like a lot of like good like rock and blues and pop. So I'll ask you after the show what you thought of the crowd. We'll yeah. see we'll see your opinion of Nashville. All right. Last question. Of all the cities that you have toured in, what is like your number one city that you love playing outside of home? Yeah, I'll, I'll where are you from, by the way? We're from uh, Bradenton, Florida. We were uh, we all grew up there and uh, started band like in high school. Or um, outside of Florida, I'm definitely a uh, I'm a New York City kid. I, I love the entire East Coast. LA freaks me out, um, but New York City is fun. It's always like some. There's always something you can do, and like the food there is like incredible. The only bad thing is uh, they don't have sweet tea. Like I'm a southern boy, so like I need my sweet tea and southern cooking. But uh, I don't know. There's this place I found. It's like uh, near Penn Station. If you guys ever go, uh, and it's called Brother Jimmy's Barbecue. It says put a little south in your mouth, and it has the best sweet tea you'll ever have. And I found it. I was I was searching for it, and some like dude on the street was like, Brother Jimmy's. Whoa, check it out. So, it's awesome sweet tea. Do you like sweet tea? I'm a huge sweet tea fan, as long as it has extra sugar in it and a little bit of lemon. Uh -huh. So it's almost that like lemonade sweet tea mix. That, that's like the Arnold Palmer. I don't know. I didn't know there was a name for it. I think there is. But we'll look into it. Okay. Our, uh, our, our business manager is from Nashville, and he said he claims that Tennessee has the best sweet tea out of the entire country. So it's a big claim. I haven't been to Alaska or Hawaii, so I, I don't know what their sweet tea like is like. But I would imagine Alaska's sweet tea is pretty cold. I like cold drinks, and Hawaii is... Tropical tea. Alaska may be more or less a popsicle. Yeah. Just a popsicle sweet tea. That'd yeah. Awesome. Right, that's good, I think. Awesome. Well, that's it. Well, thank you again for hanging out at Rocket Town and for coming to play. We hope you enjoy Nashville yeah. and skating the skate park and playing. How was the show, man? So, how about um, starting a mosh pit during a pop rock show? Those were sweet. Those were sweet. Those were sweet. <laughs> were fantastic. So, what, do, what about the girls earlier that were complaining about your mosh pit? What that do you have to Kobe. say to them? I, I really don't care. That was all of us. Yeah, we, we all, we're all responsible for that. Uh,